Hello everyone, how's it going? Deadly Deed here. Today we are going to be doing the tutorial for Stronghold Warlords because nothing is better than starting a game and not knowing what to do. So, let's go ahead and do this as we get started. Please do consider this down there, that'd be awesome. Let's go ahead and get going! Come to your Imperial Castle, your Highness. Here you will learn how to run an estate and keep your population content. Okay, that's helpful. To scroll around a map, push the mouse pointer to the edge of the screen. Okay, actually one second here. I'm going to move myself. There we go. That's much better. So he wants me to scroll by putting my mouse. The mouse wheel zooms the map. And if you press and hold your stockpile is an important storage building. Wait, what? He skipped it. Wide variety of goods. Left click on the stockpile icon. Then left click on an empty space on the ground to place it. All right. Oh, all right. Wood has been transferred from your starting goods into your stockpile and is now available to use in construction. Placing other storage buildings will later bring down other starting goods. Okay. That's helpful. For the castle to really take off, we will need to bring in peasants. At the moment, we are unpopular and the peasants' instincts are to leave our castle. Oh no! Examine the popularity area and we will remedy this situation. Oh, popularity. That tax rate is the problem. Ah. High taxes provide lots of gold, but will make you unpopular. Alright. Reduce the tax rate to no taxes. That will bring the peasants back. Okay, let's reduce no taxes. Well, actually. Okay, we'll go zero. We're now in positive popularity, and peasants will come to our castle. All right. The higher our popularity, the faster they will come. However, should we ever become unpopular again, they will leave. Peasants no. Peasants are very fickle, in my experience. They're very price sensitive when it comes to taxing. In a hurry, we can reduce the tax rate further to bribe our peasants with gold instead of taxing them. Okay. Can we use our peasants now? A more sustainable source of popularity is feeding our people. Click Food buildings. Left click on the granary icon, then left click again. Excellent. The granary has now received its starting goods. Now we can really encourage our peasants by setting a generous ration level for rice. Okay. Set the rice ration level on the popularity controls to normal. What does normal mean? It's time to start expanding our town. All right. The moment, we have some peasants waiting in front of the keep. Let's give them some work to do. <laughs> Let's do it. Click on the wood camp and build four wood camps near the bamboo trees. Okay. When you are finished, you can right click to stop placing buildings. Two. Three. Four. Notice how the idle peasants have automatically become woodcutters. Ah. This is a good thing, your highness, as there is usually a lot of wood needed in the construction of a village. Is it only one per, sh like, hut or something? Your highness, I can see a problem brewing. Oh no. Let's click on the granary you built earlier to open its information. The trouble with feeding our peasants, highness, is that our rice stocks are dwindling. Oh no! Rice is a staple food, and our people will be very unhappy if they do not have any. You can't run out of rice! Our rice ration level, or buy some more rice. But I suggest we start rice production at the castle. Okay, how do I do that? Now let's get our rice farms up and running. Click on the food buildings icon, and place down three rice fields near the granary. Alright. Look at that! will soon fill with rice. Let's add some variety to our crops. Go to the build menu and place down two vegetable fields. Once these vegetable fields get going, awesome. you'll be able to raise vegetable rations for extra popularity. However, okay. we can already set the vegetable rations rate to be good. Now our rations rate will update as soon as there are vegetables in the granary. However, 
One of our vegetable fields lies idle. This is because we've used up all of our... No more peasants? Oh. Although we are popular, peasants will not come as there is no more room. Oh, we need houses. This keep gives us space for eight peasants. We can add more space by placing houses. Okay, let's uh, place some houses, shall we? Build menu and Hovel? A house. Very clever, your highness. You have solved the population issue. What's more, you have increased your popularity because peasants like living in high quality houses. This game is awesome. This will increase popularity, but are more expensive than lower quality houses. Click on the military buildings icon and place a barracks. I don't have one yet. All right. Some of the peasants. Let's do it. Let's arm some of the peasants. To open its interface. Um. All right. Aid, we can only arm our peasants with primitive tools. Click and create five spear tribesmen. Oh, our it's instant. And just in time. No training. It that a ferocious tiger has been sighted near the village. Oh no. This is having a poor effect on popularity. Okay, let's take care of that tiger. Go, people. Let's kill that tiger and restore calm. Now, right click on the map to move your selected troops to the highlighted area. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Now, our men are in range. Right click on the tiger to order our men to attack him. Go, go, go. Sorry, Tiger, but you're having a poor effect on popular- Oh my goodness! Killed one of our dudes! Highness, I can see you are a natural leader of men. I over. I think my work here is done, and the tutorial over. Would you like to continue here for a little while longer? Um, I mean... No, I think we're good. I think... I think that's it. So that's a quick tutorial. I I really enjoyed that this whoever that person was was here to guide us along. And honestly, it was pretty self-explanatory. Everything like the UI is great. You get industry, food, housing, town, which we didn't cover here, military, cost build castle walls, which we covered that. Um but honestly, pretty good. So thumbs up, sub below. See you in the next one.